Over the past 12 months, Andy Murray has risen to world number four, reached the US Open final, and won his 10th ATP title. Now, after signing up to play in the newly sponsored Aegon Championships at the Queen's Club in June, Murray is after a first trophy in Britain, a first title on grass, and the perfect preparation for Wimbledon. You know, the guys that have played well at Queen's tend to have gone on and done very well at Wimbledon, so, you know, it's a good sort of market to see where, where your game's at, um, you know, and I think that this year I've got, I got a good chance of doing well. Grass is a good surface for me and um, yeah, obviously it mean a lot to, to win a tournament at home. It's unfortunate there's not, a, not more tournaments back in the, in the UK, but um, you know, Queen's a good one. Murray has tournaments to play indoors as well as outdoors on hard courts and clay before he arrives in England, but he's already thinking about the grass. Grass court season for me has always been, been good fun. Uh, you know, Queen's is, is a great tournament uh, they have. You know, really, really good crowds there, and, and I enjoy playing on grass. It's a different uh, sort of challenge to the rest of the year. We play so much on hard courts um, and clay that uh, you know it's nice to just have a you know sort of change in, in scenery almost on the on the tennis court. So I always look forward to it. Inevitably, as the top-ranked player in the country, big things will be expected of Murray both at the Aegon Championships and at Wimbledon. But his approach won't be any different. Oh, I go in with the same attitude to all of the tournaments. I want to try and, and win it. Um, you know, I think that's the, the best way to approach them. But um, you know, I understand that there's great players around just now, two of the best of, of all time. So, you know, it might not happen. But uh, I, f I feel good about my game. Um, you know, I've been getting better each year, and you know, hopefully, I can continue that this year. If he can, a first British title on the grass courts at the Aegon Championships could be his, and you wouldn't bet against him for Wimbledon either.